do you feel like more fulfilled now that you're doing this thing with with others versus when you're chasing your own dreams yeah, or, yeah, or would yeah. you put it like no it feels good but like in a different way i mean it's i don't think there's a wrong answer to this question i'm just curious no i think it's more fulfilling now mm-hmm. for sure i mean there's a community aspect and sure um when i was working out it was it was i mean there's a community aspect there but it's all business oriented you know what i mean like mm-hmm. you know uh like you know we'll we'll sponsor you this and we'll provide you that but you have to do x right or you have to do xyz mm-hmm. or if you don't do well enough then you just get ripped off and that's that uh but you know now like if I get sick or like I was throwing up the other day, I ate bad shrimp or something. I got food poisoning. <laughs> had to cancel everyone. And, you know, just getting phone calls and text messages from people I didn't even message say that they, you know, they were praying for me and hope that I felt better and mm-hmm. let me know when I felt better so I could schedule again. Mm-hmm. And, uh, like I had, like, I just, I canceled that day because I thought it was food poisoning and I'd be okay the next day. But I had people canceling for me on Friday mm-hmm. just if I needed it. Mm-hmm. And they're like, hey, just let it, like, no big deal. If you're not, and it was just like, man, that's cool Mm -hmm. that somehow there's this inner web of community that cares about me as like a human being and not Mm -hmm. just like a hunk of meat to make the money. Mm -hmm. Uh, So it's definitely more fulfilling now and even more so now that I've done it long enough to like, like a kid came in the gym the other day and uh, I had trained him in seventh grade and this was like a long time ago. Mm -hmm. It was back at like the old gym. When I didn't do this often. Right. It was just like, you know, okay, I mean, I guess. And mm-hmm. I didn't really know what I was doing. I've learned a lot. But, you know, he came by. And he just graduated from Louisville, and he was selling insurance. And he just stopped by. Not even to sell me insurance. He didn't even give me his card. <laughs> he was like, dude, do you remember me? And I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, you know, blah, blah, blah. and then it's like, I just graduated from Louisville, man. I just want to say thank you. He played baseball there. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's just... He said thanks, and then I taught him a lot, and you know, really helped him as an athlete, like growing up, and so that was kind of cool. Uh, that might happen more later, you know. Right. Who knows? Yeah, sure. Especially when you know the head count has increased significantly. Sure. So, the odds but that go was up. just like a yeah. yeah, the odds go up, right? But so that was a fulfilling moment, and it was cool to, you know, I guess be appreciated in some sense other than i mean i know my wife and my kid appreciate me and they sure, they're obligated to right and then yeah i mean they voice it <laughs> like everybody's mama loves them yeah right right right, right. <laughs> but so i'm definitely more fulfilled now just and i mean i just work out with people that want to be better mm-hmm. and even if i'm better than them right now like they you know it, it's a good push for them and sure it, it puts me in the gym and if no one else is there then i just don't do anything and so be it